the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the guidance of the Spirit be with you, dear brothers and sisters. Today's liturgy of the word speaks of the fraternal corrections that we have to employ on our brothers and sisters. The discourse given today in the gospel is that the fraternal corrections that we are going to employ should be as sweet as possible, as gentle as possible, so that we may employ all kinds of maximum possibilities to gain a brother, to gain a sister, instead of just leaving one to get doomed. The Lord gives us, instructs us the discourse that we must use the maximum possibility to gain our brother. The first procedure Jesus gives is that when one brother made a mistake against the other, one must go near to him personally in a fraternal way, gently exhort him what the mistake he had done are against the other one. We must make a platform so that our brother is made to think of his fallen nature. And in this platform, the spirit also is there. The spirit and a brother, both together, instruct the fallen one to get up and walk. And after the instruction of fraternal and personal correction, if the brother continued to be adamant and stubborn, now take two or three with you. It is again non-judicial. The mistakes were not made public. So the law says with the two or three, the problems are settled down. Now you are with two or three to meet your brother who is fallen. Now with the Holy Spirit, again make a platform with so many witnesses so that your brother may come to realization with the prompting of the Holy Spirit, with the suggestions of his own brothers and sisters and he may rectify his own ways by which you can gain your brother. But, and after the so much of uh, creating platform for your brother to come back, even if all these efforts, your brother continues to be adamant and stubborn, now bring your brother with love and charity to the church authority. The church authority had been infused the authority of binding and loosing. It is given to St. Peter and his successors. Now, the church authorities will call your brother and will expose to him all the pros and cons of his fallen nature. 
and he, the church authority may exhort him to come back to his realization and if your brother is okay with all their exhortation you gain your brother but if your brother continues to be in a state of adamancy and stubbornness you can't do anything with him just leave him as one of the tax collectors and publicans the tax collectors and publicans were considered as outcasts in the society dear brothers and sisters in christ jesus today jesus says the brother who is fallen how to be used to maximum a maximum possibility to gain him never never lose him just because using two or three possibilities but again and again again and again we must go to the brother and exhort him the pros and cons of his fallen nature it is a way of christianity it's a way of christian brothers and sisters living sometimes it happens by use of one small mistake of a good man and using that people used to destroy all the fames that he had earned throughout his life the evil people they used this small mistake or error of a good man to attack and satiate their own vengeance and jealousy sometimes people go on gossip of the small mistake one makes instead of directly going and confronting exhort him to come back dear brothers and sisters let us in a special way follow the instruction of jesus and learn to how the brotherly love heavenly father we thank and praise you for all the gifts you have showered upon us continue to bless us lord be with us lord strengthen us by your guidance we may gain our brothers and sisters never allow us to lose our brother brothers and sisters who are in a fallen nature never allow us to gossip and make magnify a small mistake our brothers and sisters so that he be doomed but rather help us to use the charity of instruments to bring our brothers and sisters to your feet we ask this through christ our lord amen